Hello, today we're going to talk about Strava, what is it, how do we use it and uh, how we can uh, use it to enhance our fitness performance, let's say. I get this question a lot, especially from the young that are uh, new to the cycling or running or that want to track their uh, their fitness and don't want to invest like in a, in a sports watch. So, uh, yeah. Let's talk about uh, its history. It dates back to 2009, when the project has started developing. It started uh, as, uh, and it is till today, one of the biggest, if not the most popular fitness social network app. Uh, let's say how they started the story. If we, got, if we take a look at their main page, they say they start from the verb strive, to make great efforts to achieve or obtain. Uh, let's see uh, its uh, its main features like uh, track and analyze, share and connect, explore and compete. These are the the, the best features that let's say that this app has. Uh, the devices you can run it on are the followers, the mobile phones, Android OS or iPhone OS, Garmin devices, Apple Watch, and I think there are uh, some Android watches that can run it also. I'm not quite sure there. Uh, let's start by exploring the tabs. So first one is the dashboard. Here we can see on the left uh, our account, uh, the following, how many we are following, followers, activities. And uh, we can have uh, an overview of our, what's going on here. We have our clubs, we have suggested friends, we have challenges down here, and uh, we have uh, some, uh, let's say, some uh, some of our, our friends, right? Here, for example, we have Mikhail Vyatkovsky. Uh, I'm following him. He's a pro cyclist. So, uh, yeah, I can I can see even the pros what they are doing, and that, that that's a cool feature. And that's a cool feature we we can find that in many apps. Let's say uh, you can post pictures from your ride, like it's in this example. You can have a simple a simple route. Uh, you can have some uh, third-party apps that uh, are helping, uh, let's say, to enhance this, uh, this tracking of activities because uh, every ride is not the same, uh, it's dependent on the temperature and the conditions. Moving on, this is the activity feed tab, we're going to go to my segments. I have only one that I've made here locally, close to my home. Uh, I haven't created yet a segment and uh, I haven't hidden any, so I haven't used much this, this feature. Moreover, we move to my routes. I've got some routes for cycling because this is what I do the most. Uh, we have, I have created them uh, for a different purpose. Let's say I wanted to track them with, uh, with a dedicated cycling computer. Uh, moving on, we have the training log like the training tab, uh, we can uh, track uh, our riding, our running or other sports. For example, in January this year I have few kilometers, but uh, the days we don't ride, they count automatically as rest days, so yeah. We have also the training calendar for January, um, it doesn't date back from or you can we can check here also. Let's see if we can get uh, a better overview. Like 2017, for example. You can see here a distribution of the rides, the number of hours, the the kilometers, the personal records activities. They are they are well distributed here to to have an idea what have you done during the year. Moving on, we have my activities. Here are all the activities I have uh, registered using Strava, using either the mobile app or uh, I've used the Garmin app that connects to it and syncs the activities. Uh, you can see the, the date, the title of the ride, time, distance, elevation. Now I'm gonna pick a ride to see how it does look on Strava, like this one, for example. Here we can see the ride, the distance, the moving time, elevation, estimated average power, so on and so forth, the 
the let's say the the right how does it look on the GPS map uh, it's worth nothing that it uh, this app uses your GPS to track uh, to track your rides here are the segments with the dedicated data we're gonna move on to analysis to have a look on what kind of data does Strava gives us for free this is a um, free account it's not paid we have speed estimated power heart rate cadence and temperature and that's uh, there these are some good uh, good figures that uh, we can base our training on uh, on these segments uh, on these tabs we've seen also summit summit is the premium features that you unlock by paying uh, some fees moving on to explore we can explore segments like we have here we can search segments we can search athletes which are friends or the ones that are using this app clubs very useful feature uh, i've joined several of them uh, and the uh, one that's really important the apps tab it's not very yes uh, i'm uh, using currently climat app i don't know if it's here it's uh, an app that shows the the weather of the data of the day ride like uh, this is a very important one and i also use sometimes stravistics to get uh, more data from my ride uh, running races haven't used it local uh, it's uh, something like this like a city guide for for big cities around the world and moving on to one of my favorite tabs is this uh, ch uh, challenge tab uh, you can view all the ride or run and for different challenges you have different requirements to go to complete them uh, for example I have this cycling uh, January cycling distance challenge I have to compete uh, over 1,500 kilometers in a given amount of time uh, it's uh, worth noting that some uh, activities are uh, giving you rewards such as discounts on some products so like this one roca rise to the challenge it gets you 30 dollars off a pair of ultra and roca sandwiches so uh, yeah it's a, it's a great motivation let's say so this was strava i hope uh, you like this introduction uh, maybe we're gonna have some more videos on this topic like uh, the stravistics app climate up we can talk about that and uh, this was more of an introduction to the app for those that are uh, new to cycling new to running that want to track their their activities hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, if you like so leave a thumbs up or add a comment to the comment section until the next time uh, keep cycling